thanks for talking with me, Don. I'm, I'm wondering if you might comment on the uh, state of engineering design education today. Mm. Pretty bad. You see, the problem with engineering is that it is deep, narrow, because more and more engineering is a specialty. And when you learn whichever branch, whether it's civil or mechanical or electrical or computer science or anything, you have to learn more and more, in some sense, about less and less, because we've ended up being specialists. We've ended up trying very hard to know much more in detail about the topic and develop formal mathematical models. And that's very good, and has led to many advances in knowledge, but in order to apply the knowledge, we don't need narrow, deep, we need broad. We need this kind of education, which spans many disciplines. So spans this discipline, and spans this discipline, and spans this discipline. So all these narrow and depth are also broad. And that's what the designer brings. But in order to design something, you have to cut across disciplines. It involves people, technology, not just chemical engineering or mechanical engineering or electronic engineering or mechanical. It involves all of them. It involves the environment. It's a systems approach. We don't teach that in engineering. We teach specialty. So what we need to do is get people involved in real problems. Because real problems cut across the disciplines and on top of that, that's what engineering should all be about. It's about making technology that's a benefit to people and to society. So it sounds as though you have some fairly strong views about um, what's missing. What kinds of skills and perspectives does the 21st century engineer have to have, and how do we, how do we educate them in that way? It's a systems problem, because all problems cut across. And what we really need is a systems approach, which takes into account people's real needs, which means probably the social scientists who can go out and study and understand what those real needs are that engineers can help solve. So that involves technology. That involves the manufacturing and distribution. That involves the environment of things that are sustainable, that are sensible, that do not destroy the world. So well, what the designer is about is the designer is somebody with broad knowledge across these things that can aid the specialists in each of the disciplines. But we need to think of it as a system. And so the engineer of the 21st century has to be a systems thinker. Thank you for sharing these perspectives with us, Don. You're quite welcome.